on Brighton Boulevard in Denver. It looks like ordinary road work. This morning, we're installing the first four smart pavement slabs. But this repaving operation and this concrete are a bit unusual. Smart pavement has inside a fiber optic sensing cable that makes the road touch sensitive. Tim Sylvester uh, is the founder of Integrated Roadways, done, uh, a Missouri company whose mission is this. Today, we have smart phones, smart appliances, smart cars, and even smart cities. But our roads are still just roads. But what if our roads of tomorrow could become a digital network? Providing information to drivers, Sylvester says, and gathering information about roads and highways using the latest technologies. Sensors, antennas, the sky's the limit. Our the road's the limit. A near fatal traffic accident prompted the Colorado Department of Transportation, which is always looking for new innovations, to green light this test project, the very first, it says, in the world. Four years ago, a car traveling on Colorado Highway 285 slid off the road and down a steep embankment. The driver of the vehicle was trapped without food and water and in below freezing temperatures for six days. The driver survived, but smart pavement transmitting real-time data could prevent a repeat. This will be able to tell us how the wheels of a vehicle are moving around and notify emergency responders if it senses that those vehicles leave the road in an unsafe way. Besides the safety functions, Sylvester says at a time when road building is more expensive than ever, traffic information from these slabs could eventually be sold to customers to offset construction costs, the way Google and Facebook sell data from internet traffic. So by putting the data collection and telecom into the road, the road pays for itself, and we no longer have to worry about how the road gets funded. Roads also offer promise in other ways. Smart pavement could eventually help autonomous cars better navigate. China is testing highways covered with solar panels as a way to produce power. The idea of inductive charging, you know, could you have coils within the pavement that could provide power to electric vehicles? The Colorado Department of Transportation says deploying this type of concrete on a widespread basis is probably unrealistic. But we think that this could really be a, a good tool to have in our toolbox. This $200,000 installation could soon be replicated at the scene of that 2014 accident. Roads are taking on new dimensions these days as we merge onto the highway of the future. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.